What's up, Lucky Gamers? It's Lucky Lux, and today we're going to be talking about Arkland. And honestly, I've been loving the game, and the game is really fun, but one of the problems is a language barrier. And I'm tired of holding up my phone to the screen. So, I'm going to show you guys how you can play it in English. You can translate the game, even though it's out for the Korean release, right? It's really easy and simple. I'm going to try to uh, run through all the steps for you guys. That way you guys can see how the game looks while it is translated. So, we're going to go through the steps one by one. So, quick guide to translating the Windows version of Arkling, uh Korean. Download the installer. So, you're going to go ahead and download the game. I've already done that. I have it running here. Uh, run the launcher. Install the game. Right, you're going to install it. Then, you're going to download this file here, the GitHub. Uh, it's a good uh, file. I've already checked it. And it is the file right here. I've downloaded it a couple times because this is not my first time recording this video. But... Um, so you're going to go ahead and download that, but you're going to want to extract it because it is a zipped folder, right? And you're going to want to put that into your uh, Arkland uh, folder that you have on your hard drive, right? So here you have Arkland, and it's wanting you to go to your client folder. As it says, move the contain setup, raid, patcher, and autotranslator.exe to your Arkland client folder. Right, and you're wondering what is that file? That file was from your downloads when you extract it. It's the auto translator array patcher, so you're gonna put that in your uh, Arklin client folder. Here it is, right here. Now that you have this extracted file, what you're gonna do is you're gonna click and let it run and do its thing. Right, it's gonna do that, and it's gonna give you a whole new launcher. Patch and run. You're going to want to go ahead and run that. Open up the game, you know, with that. Run and create it, let it do its thing, and then close it. After that, you're going to have to change some text files. And if I'm going too fast, you know, you can rewind it, everything like that, but it's it's really simple. Really, really, really simple. Now, of course, all of this is referenced from their Discord, so this next part might have you guys thinking we're about to hack. No, this is from them. Uh, it's just a way to play the game and enjoy the game. Right? So, uh, what you're going to want to do is go follow everything as a folder client folder, auto translator folder, auto translator folder, uh, config is the actual file. And you're going to want to change uh, to where you're going to have here Google uh, Translate V2. You're going to change it to Papago Translate. And then where you have from language. JA, you're going to change it from language KO, and it's going to show you here where this all is. And uh, I'm going to I'm going to try to uh, just basically at the end of the video just have this there up there for the video for a while. That way you guys can see this and kind of read it in the video. But I'm just showing you guys the steps, right? Uh, so after you do all of that, next you're going to get this correction text. Now. Uh, I grabbed this from the Discord. If I can put the file in the description, I will do that for you. If I cannot, then uh, I'll just give you the link to the Discord. But uh, anyways, you're going to take that correction file that uh, you got from me, and you're going to put it in the uh, correct folder, which is going to be client slash auto translator slash translation slash in slash text. Right? So what does that mean? We're starting at the client. We're going to go to auto translator, translation, en, text, correction file. You're going to drop it right in there. And after that, you're going to run the game with patch and run. You're going to want to put this one on your uh, start menu or desktop, wherever you want. So I'm actually going to put this one uh, somewhere on my desktop, right? I don't have my desktop, but you're going to want to put that on your desktop because that's going to be the version that you want to run, right? And then now you can play the game with it being translated and look at this. Look at this game and you can see it. And it will translate this text here. Because it's, it's basically like translating it on the go. So very nice and easy system. Some of the translations are going to be a little weird, but hey, it's better than what we had before. You can honestly understand the game um, a lot better, and you can have a lot more fun while 
playing it. Hopefully this guide was quick and easy for you guys and it wasn't too complicated. If you have any questions, please let me know down in the comment section. I can help you guys out. Uh, but anyways, please like the video if it helps you out and subscribe to the channel if you guys want to get more Arkland com uh, content because I'm liking the game but I'm thinking about making some content for the game. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. You lucky gamers, have a good one. Lucky Lux out.